Hey, what's up? This is Didio, and we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up your digital audio workstation. I'm in Environment Studio One, but this applies to all DAW workstations. What do, DA, what do digital audio workstations need? Well, they need uh, a computer, Mac or PC, and software. We got Studio One. And the audio interface, we got that. You might need that. And a microphone. And so what we're going to do, we're going to set up this microphone and record me, right? And we're going to make sure that you can hear the result of what I'm doing. So what, and the first thing you got to do is make sure that your digital audio workstation or your software is set up to use the audio interface. So in my case, you got options. It might be file setting, but I go to Studio One, Options. And then right here, Audio Setup. You select your audio device. Right here, I got the Studio One Personas. 1824 but also got the Apollo twin so if I want the or because the MPC is the audio interface I can set it to that or I can set it to the GDXA but in this case we're going to use the studio USB because that's what this is right here it's the audio interface and we hit OK right and then what I want to do is I want to open up a track so in this case you can hit plus right there and this dialogue will show up and we're going to make an audio track we're going to make it uh, stereo and we're going to set it to my headset boom we got audio track if i hit record you can see that i got signal coming in right there okay or i can right click here add audio track stereo seven eight now why would i do that well because my setup is set up that way everybody's audio setup is different so don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like how i'm doing it this is sort of hopefully just to get you into the ballpark when you want to start recording your voice. When you start getting an audio interface, you may just use the microphone on your laptop or your phone, but eventually you might want to use the audio interface, right? So as you can see, when I hit record on that, you see signal coming in right there. If I open up the mixer, you will also see signal right here. And if I hit record, testing one, two, three, notice we have waveforms showing up right there and it's going to sound like exactly the same. Testing one, two, three. Notice we have waveforms showing up right there, and it's going to sound like exactly the same. And in this situation, you can then pan left or right. So let's listen. Let's listen to what happens if I pan this channel all the way to the left. Testing one, two, three. and then to the notice right. We have waveforms showing up right there, and it's going to sound like exactly the same, right? And so that's the that's the thing of using this digital audio workstation. Now I can do another track. And combine it and make make somewhat of a dub, just like this. Right. Testing Test one, two, three. Notice we have waveforms showing up right. Th Open up another track. Oops, wrong type of track. Move that track. Right click, audio track, headset. Do it again. Let's listen. Right. Testing, Testing one, one, two, two three. three. Notice we have wave. And if I pan them bad boys left and right, now we got a dub. Let's listen to what happens. Right. Testing, Testing one, one, two, three. three. Notice we have wave. Right. And this is your basic setup for how to set it up to record. So let's let's look in that. I'm going to go further in Studio One just to help those with Studio One out. But you have a similar you should have similar options. It may just not be operating this way. But if I go to song setup, you can see a picture of my device and then you can see all the inputs that it has. So it has all these inputs right here. <sighs> Dang, that's more inputs that I have my Apollo. All these inputs right here. And then you got all the outputs right there, right? And so my headset, and it'll show you. It, what I like about this is that it'll let you know where sound's coming in right there. So my headset's coming in right here on 7 to 8. So if I move that to here, this is sort of like a matrix. If I move it here and I apply it, we're not going to hear that thing. We're not going to see that move anymore. But if I move it to 7 to 8, because that's where I physically have my microphone hooked up to, and I hit apply, now we're seeing signal right there. If I were to switch this to the Apollo interface, the layout would be different. And that's how that works. But this is the basics for setting up your digital audio workstation, whatever you're using, how to record. If you want to see me do an FL Studio, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll do an FL Studio. Um, if you want to see me do an MPC, uh, let me know. I'll do that. Let me know in the comments below. I hope this helps you out. This is a little quick tutorial. I'll see y'all later. If you got questions, put them in the comments below. It'll help me uh, make some more content to answer some more questions. And we'll do it like that. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Delio. You're watching Delio T2K.